let's do this hi hey, gavin you good i am very well excited to be on my first first podcast and uh, to be in one of uh, the most famous grad job podcasts as well so excited <laughs> I wish it was famous. <laughs> well, <laughs> I see I see it quite a bit uh, on my uh, LinkedIn so I I actually watch most of your little podcast uh, clips. I think it's helpful still for me as well. So um it's very relevant even today for me so it's helpful. That's good to know. That's awesome. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Let's make the best one yet. Let's do it. <laughs> so so tell us about what you do because I see on LinkedIn you know I haven't talked to you in a while but I see product lead, I see tech consultant. The, yep. Like when I last talked to you you were doing just the tech consulting so yeah talk us through it what do you do? All right so um I guess um it started off with joining this firm called Kitney Consulting. Um so just to give you a brief of what Kitney does is they are a work health and safety consultant technically. So we've got the managing director who goes into different client sites and gives Uh, expert advice on how you can improve work health and safety now i'm part of the technical team of the business so kitney has got consulting arm and then it's got a toolkit arm toolkit arm is the one that has all the technical or it solutions so we kind of are like a we work with consulting hand in hand so consulting gives the advice we build the solution for for the client and um where i come in is uh, when i joined kitney i worked i started as an it um support um where where i was working with it leads um working with consultants to we get deployed in different projects so um a client buys one of our solutions which is based off a microsoft platform uh, it's mainly on sharepoint um and then sharepoint we plug in different applications of um microsoft mainly power bi um power apps um and power automations these are the three applications that we use um and we try to build a good safety system running off a sharepoint environment so we call it the um work health and safety system within your 365 license that's where the unique selling point is it's not like a straight uh, straight off the shelf software and it's easy to, to access because um it's within your microsoft license and and today 80% of the businesses have microsoft licenses so that's where a nice niche market where we step in and people don't have to re, you know put a lot of investment to buy our product um and i go into a client and um, project discover what they need uh, in terms of building a system for them and then um yeah and then i deploy resources or i work on it myself if we don't have enough budget for extra consultants to work on it um yeah and fast forward a year uh, from being an it support i've moved into being an it consultant lead and then um w- within a very quick transition period i actually started leading the product itself so the sharepoint um 365 uh, platform I own that space now so um I look after product development and and also still do that lead consulting bit, bit as well so it's been a year year and a half in the business and I've learned quite a bit and one of the reasons why I could grow really quick and pick up that product development piece is because I had some previous experience before I came to Australia um and I was working with SharePoint for about 5 years before I moved to Australia so that experience helped me but it was really hard to tap into it and that's and I I guess I was not able to sell myself really well and that's where grad jobs came in my life um and it helped me kind of like push myself out there and tell the world this is what I do in a better way um I guess so that's a quick uh, overview of what I've done so far <laughs> How would you describe a typical day mm. in your current role or maybe a typical week? A typical week for me usually um Mondays is like a catch up day for us like the whole team sits together and comes and discusses every single client we've got uh, we're we're not a big organization so that kind of makes it easier for us to have those kind of conversations on a weekly basis. So we're about 
20, 25 people. When I joined, it was 12 people. And now we're slowly growing, which is good. Um, and, we, and we've got about six lead consultants um, in, in the IT, the kidney toolkit space. On Mondays, we sit together. We've got the managing director in the room. And then we talk about where the projects are. Um, on an average, everyone leads about six to eight clients um, ac across a three to four month period. So we just discuss about our clients, uh, where we're at, if we need any help, and if we need any support in navigating certain issues win within our client projects. Um, and Mondays goes with just internal you know, brainstorming and trying to provide updates to our um, managing director. Along with these projects that I do with clients, we've got internal projects as well. So we've got a Power BI dashboard to improve um, business processes and um, just process improvements. So there's a few in internal projects that I work on as well. So it's pretty full, full on. It's mainly about Monday is only reporting about all of that. And then Mon and Tuesday onwards, it picks up. So Tuesday onwards in my life, it's just meetings back to back, um, usually from the morning till midday or even till afternoon, I have meetings with my clients just to check in, um, see how they're going, um, and also just gather some requirements around any development pieces. So a lot of, there are a couple of projects that like, you know, go through a phase. So we've got five phases, like we do a discovery phase, then we define, then we do development, and then we do a handover. So. Some projects are run parallelly, some projects are picking up, some projects are winding down. So, um, and I'm in meetings through uh, half, half my day from Monday to Wednesday, so I'm in meetings. Um, and then in the afternoons, I'm catching up with my IT support teams to just let them know what is the task that needs to be do done within a client environment. And they go off and build it. I'm just reviewing the work um, and then doing my communications, sending emails to my clients, just letting them know what the status is. Um, and Friday is one day where I keep for myself. I, I don't want to have any client meetings um, or internal meetings I try to avoid. Um, and Fridays is just for me to just completely compile what I've done for the whole week and, 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 and get ready for the next week. So that's typically how my day looks like um, at the moment. Um, and on Fridays is when now that I've started taking the product lead as uh, one of my responsibilities, I take Friday to keep aside and do some R&D around our products, especially around SharePoint and power automations and um, Power BI and how we can improve and keep on top of Microsoft releases. So I'm just uh, documenting um, any new updates that Microsoft has got um, and also uh, in Amongst that, I also try to network, um, try to build a community around this space. Um, and that's the only way we can um, keep improving. So um, one of my projects within Kidney is to build like a 365 um, user group, um, Australia. I know we've got 365 user groups, uh, groups in like in a global um, setting, but we don't have a very specific user group for SharePoint and power automations within Australia. So that's where I want to get to, I want to build uh, like a, a group of people who work within this space, come bring them together and start that community. And I, I think that's really helpful. And I kind of kind of picked that up from grad jobs. Um, so that application, the school app that you've got, I think it's a good community and uh, it's a good space for people to talk to about if they have issues or if they find something interesting or just build a community of um, yeah practice. That's awesome. It sounds like you really progressed a lot. Yeah, I've put in the deep end for quite a few projects, but like I think that's also where you learn sometimes. So um, being a small company, we don't have a lot of resources. Um, it's just go in and try things. You might fail, you might, but you learn a lot from that. But yeah, so that's one of the reasons why I don't want to jump into a massive organization yet. I want to be in that small to medium scale businesses. So I can um, learn as much as I can in a short period of time. Like, I think I did take your advice on that because um, when I got into grad jobs and that my first focus was to get into the big fours. And I think everyone wants to get into the big fours when you start off. Um, but yes, there is definitely perks of being in the big four to start off with. But like, 
you told me, look, just take what the offer that you've got and you can always progress eventually. Um, and, and that's what I did because through the grad jobs program, I, to be honest, I've only applied for like six jobs and out of my fourth job was what I'm working on. Right? And so the fourth application is what I'm working today. So I didn't really have to put, I think I put a lot of time in the quality of my uh, resume. I didn't go ahead and apply for too many jobs. I was being a little picky as well, though I, I didn't have the right to be picky at that point because I was desperate to work. <laughs> but I still did that. So um, the response or the conversion w was really quick and that's what was um, a surprise for me because I was applying for jobs for about six months um, and that's when I decided to jo uh, join grad jobs. Um, and the fourth application is when my toolkit um, offer came um, and I, I told you, hey, I got this offer. Should I continue to look for the big fours? And you said, no, um, you should take the job because it's a good opportunity. Um, and in working in a small business, you get to learn a lot because, and you you were right, but I was working for a, big pharma analytics company, um, 2,000, 3,000 employees. And I kind of felt stuck. Um, and it was, I was not able to learn much within that, in that five years of working there. And within that one and a half years that I worked in a small business here in Australia, I think I learned more than what I did the five years in a, a massive corporate. Um, so I think at my age, I I am happy to take risks um, and and eventually maybe when I'm thinking about you know when I'm in 40s and 50s work for a bigger firm but at my age I think it was good to it was a right decision to go in and try new things because when I was trying to look for a consulting job I didn't know what I wanted to consult in um, and now I've got a, a taste of everything so I've got a taste in you know being a support I've got a taste in being a lead. Uh, consultant taste of being a product owner like product lead um, and working with internal teams on internal projects I don't think I'll be I would have been able to get that variety of work um, if I was in a corporate environment um, and me being I I get bored really quick <laughs> and that's one of the reasons why I chose consulting so it gives me that variety of uh, industries to work with and variety of people to work with so it was a good pick and I don't regret my decision. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you for your advice on that, Mackenzie. Yeah. I'm glad it paid off. <laughs> it, <laughs> no, that is definitely a good one. Yeah. Uh, and I, yeah. I would also suggest like people who are looking for a job straight away from uni to also keep small business, smaller, medium sized businesses as a good opportunity as well. Yeah. You, you felt like you belong there because you you kind of like walk into the office and everybody knows you says hi to you and and there is no like you know uh fake smiles in the lift <laughs> you know or in the corporates you know that's what <laughs> and yeah. fake good mornings which i used to do quite regularly but yeah you 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 feel like you belong there everybody knows your work and you you're proud of what you do there so and people acknowledge you for what you do so i think that yeah, that, that that kind of a relationship with your work, you really need that to um, you know keep you going, and and um, yeah, just be satisfied with what you do on a daily basis. So I think you need that kind of acknowledgement from people and people to know you and and your contribution matters. Yeah, and you've had a big impact on the business, I think, because you were one of twelve at the beginning, and yeah. after a year and a half which has yep. meant you know, a lot of hard work from you. You've added a lot, a lot of value to clients and you've kind of been part of that wider growth of the business. You've con contributed to that in a sense. So the, that's the cool thing about a smaller as a company, right? You have not just, it's not just your role yep. that's impactful it's, and meaningful. It's mm. how that relates to the, the wider company, if that makes sense.